Hi, I bid you greetings. This is Barry T. Paul coming in to be able to video, which is a collaboration of two artists who seem to have the same thought in mind. Okay, now this is my friend Eric, and the, the picture you see on the floor with the, with the probe thing on is a picture he did. And the reason I say it seems to have a same, similar concept is because I have a, a race of friends called Celestian, and I call them Huzma. And in that dimension, they sit on a very large scale of space known as, as space, time, and dimension, which is unlimited. And in this, in, in this field, there's all this energy. Now, this is the guy who drew a picture, and he'd never even met me before he drew this picture. And yet, when I looked at that picture, the first thing I saw was the vortex energy field that my celestial sits in, sits in. Now, what I got here on it now is something that I drew, which is a primitive space probe, which I took pieces from everything I could see, and I made a probe out of it. Now, look at it closely. You see Robbie the robot in there. That's where the basic, and you see some of Lost in Space, and you see some of, a whole lot of things in there, but I turned it into a probe. It had the primitive computers, which were the ones with the big reels and punch cards and tape. I added modern computers in there, which is hard drive, flash cards, DVD players, and everything. I put speakers, I put um, high power air piston propulsion, so that you can have like jet rockets, but you don't use the fuel, you use compressed liquid nitrogen or air. So I put a whole lot of technology together in what I think is the primitive unit, but more advanced than anything Earth has ever known. What is it though? Is it a it is reactor a, or what? It is a, it is a probe for analyzing things in space. You, you send this thing out in a, in, a, in a rocket, and when it gets here, the rocket opens up and this thing comes out. It, it goes about the planet, taking samples of air, rocks, minerals, and everything. It takes it, analyzes it, and then when it comes back to Earth, it comes back, you bring it back, and it'll tell you about what it's seen. It's got uh, voice sure. recognition and all that. Can I ask you a couple questions? Sure. What are those hash marks up there? Is that some sighting gauge eyes? Some, These? Yeah, some. Oh, those are spectral analyzers. Okay. Okay, light comes in, and then it analyzes all the spectrum of, of the light, and it has one in the front there. That's what those are. Okay, now, down here, these are like transmitters and antennas and things that send signals out from, from the pole back to the ship itself, which it sends it information to, so it can send it back to Earth ahead of time. But once the thing comes back, it gives you more detailed information. And it, it, it can speak like you do, because it's got that technology for artificial intelligence. Okay, so it, it, it can actually tell you what it saw and give you a more de in-depth view of it. It's got all kinds of different kind of equipment. It can analyze air, it can... It can it has a laser on it for cutting off samples. That's straight, that's straight non-organic. Yeah. Looks like it works on the backdrop right there. Yeah, it does. I think, I think it really does a good job. I wish I, I, wish I could actually um, cut the whole thing out of that white paper and just have it sitting in there, you know. <laughs> but anyway, your, your picture is a, it's a perfect medium for a celestial to be put into. I knew you'd like it. That's why I wanted to show it to you. And like I say, I'm going to buy a piece of this. <laughs> and, and and put the selector in, and then just turn it over. Let you put put it. That's off a chunk of it. Put it again. So peace on me, and I'll give you another video as soon as possible. For me and Eric, ciao. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let him all do all the talking. Yeah.